What's up YouTube, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that brake light. This is on a 2012 Toyota Tundra. So the brake light on your dashboard can also come on because you have your e-brake engaged or pushed all the way down and you didn't release it. But in this case here, it's because I have low brake fluid. I'll show you really quick here. So I'm using this right here, which is a DOT3 for brakes. And this is actually the reservoir here. It's kind of hard to see it, but right over here, let me see if I can get in there pretty close. Right over here is the max fill line. The minimum is down here. And as you can see there, it's a little bit below the minimum. So sometimes the brake light will come on and off depending on how I turn. Um, this is the cap right here. As you can see, it says use only DOT3 fluid. And then you just pop this off and you can pour it down in there. I'll try to make it go pretty much right where this line is at, a little bit below the max. So I'm gonna go and top it off and show you really quick. There we go. I don't know if you can see it's getting more full. There we are. I'm gonna stop right where the max is at, a little bit below it. So right there is good. And let's see if the brake light goes off. All right, let's start her up and see if the brake light is gone. So usually it's right there. Start her up real quick. And usually comes on right away. It's usually right over there, so it's all gone. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.